How do you do, me hearties? I'm Annie, and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Part 5. Do you still recognize me? It's me, Annie. Has it been too long? Well, I guess it has. I'm very sorry. This time, I'm really trying to improve my uploading schedule because I'm the worst. I really want to finish this game some day this year. And yeah, so I enjoy recording, but each time I wait longer, it gets harder for me to get in because I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do this anymore. What is my life? And yeah, so I just have to do it more often, then it gets easier. And yeah, I mean, the quality isn't that good anyway, but it, I fear it gets even worse if I don't do it. <laughs> you see what I mean? Since it has been so long that we lost, lost, saw each other, I can't English today. Here are some news. First of all, new background. Yeah, uh, I redecorated and put my table somewhere else so you can see all my favorite things in the background. Do you want the background tour? Well, even if you don't, here we go. Yes, this is the disclaimer song for my new background. I hope it won't mess too much with my recording. There's so much going on, I don't know where to look, and my camera might not focus on my face. <clears throat> now that your ears are destroyed, we can finally go back into the- No, we can't. Hold on! Some other news. I am luckiest person alive. I got tickets for my chemicals. Not only once, but twice. Once for Milton Keynes and second for Bonn. And this already arrived and I sleep with it every night. Just like this. Ah, oh, yes. I actually don't, but yeah. And my other news, I went to England, I walked, not really, but uh, I was there for the Great Conjunction, a convention for Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, best movie ever, and uh, also, the, uh, blah, 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 also the Netflix series. And yeah, you can see my dedicated shelf over there. And yeah, so that was amazing. Our flight back got cancelled because of the storm. That was horrible because we had to stay one and a half days longer and spend so much more money and had to take a bus back, which takes forever. And so yeah, but I'm back. I'm back in town. And um, let's stop talking and go back into Harald Dotter. Eh, uh, yes, that's an insider you probably won't understand, but maybe that's better. And... Look at this! Welcome! This is Kratos. Yes, he has a name and... I mean, look at it! Look at it! It's hideous! Just like me, so it suits me. So, yeah, okay. I don't even know what we have to do anymore. I need to go to the house point ceremony. Oh, yes, and also before we do anything... <laughs> we won't play today. <sighs> I missed my beans! <laughs> I'm kidding, but yeah, let's try one. This is very noisy and loud. Let's go for this one. This already looks... Uh, mm. It's either watermelon, green apple, or... I mean, it looks good. Maybe it's booger. I don't know. Let's try. Mm, no. That's watermelon. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Yes, yes. Okay. Now that we cleared that, my controller went off. Great. Please work. Um, yes, okay. So, how are you doing? Hi, would you consider a trade? No, thank. I don't know my buttons. This is magic and this is jumpy jump. Alrighty do. Should we check for other beans? Nah. Oh no, we got the, the, the Entschleimer. Wow. So maybe we should go check for other beans. I mean, I could just cut out unimportant things. Or I could tell you a little bit more about the Great Conjunction because, yeah, so um, as people who know me might know, I love puppetry and I love the Muppets and Jim Henson and everything like that. And Oh, how do you do? How are you doing? Don't ignore me! Plastic Potter, I'll get you! <laughs> oh, 
already. So uh, that was the first convention ever to or official convention to the film The Dark Crystal. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's on Netflix or you just got the DVD like I do. Um, well, what? I shouldn't go in there. She got Nini last time. Mm, what's in here? A bean! classroom. I know. There is a bean! My lost child! I remember you. Ah, there's a scene. So, yeah, it was marvelous. It was fantastic. And all the people there are so nice. Wait a minute. Balfour Blaine, 1566 to 1629, established the Committee on Experimental Charms. Cool story, bro. Nice waist. Yes, yes. This is loud. Ah, uh, well, who cares? Um, can you tell that I don't know how to talk anymore? Am I recording? Yes, yes. Very professional, indeed. Any secrets in here? Mm. So, one person in particular was very, very nice, and she's kind of an inspiration and idol because she's she's an actress, she's a puppeteer, she can sing. I think the description said that anyway. She's the loveliest person alive. I talked to her, and she can do handicrafts very well. And uh, I don't know, she's just amazing. Becky Henderson is her name, and uh. At the convention, I didn't talk a lot to her because I was, I don't know, I was overwhelmed and I didn't know what to say. But um, she has an Etsy shop and after the convention, I wanted to buy this art print and this necklace. It's so pretty, look at it. It's a dinosaur! It got short legs. Uh, what is this? Arms? <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> say that to my leg. Um, and yeah, that so... painting is almost as cute as Professor Lockhart. Oh, mm, Professor Lockhart. So yeah, uh, we chatted a bit on Instagram and uh, Etsy and... Oh, she's just the nicest person. Oh, I can't do this anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy about that. And all the other fans who were there and all the other people who worked on the film and the series who were invited so very lovely and yeah i should stop talking now and uh yeah i will see you once uh, i find some more secrets okay i go now bye bye tell me about the ford anglia i'm fascinated by non-magical machines <laughs> I don't Who's know, going magical to be machine. Next? Which way are you going, Potter? Whoa, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you, too. I'm ah. in the Transfiguration classroom. She is not here. <laughs> so I can get all my beans. Yes. <laughs> ah, I uh, went back to. This is my good gonna go's classroom because I figured she might not be here and I was right. Mmm, <laughs> <coughs> spit. Lovely. Well, that was exciting. In other news, um, back to England, people that are so friendly, I don't know what's wrong with Germans or what's right <laughs> with. Uh, British people, but they're so lovely, so friendly, they are so helpful. You just go and ask them and they're like, yeah, here, let me help you, blah, blah, blah. And here in Germany, it's it's the worst. Um, I'm moving to a friend in three months because um, I want to go back to England in September anyway as au pair. I hope that works. And so, yeah, I want to save some money because this flat is so expensive. It's ridiculous and yeah, so um, I was thinking about moving to her my friend in June so uh, I could save some money and I really hate being alone So that's very nice. Her flat is very tiny, but it's just for a limited amount of time So that doesn't matter anyway, and it's fine, and I should stop anyway so often, but I like it <laughs> um, Yeah, but so we went to her I don't know. 
this uh, this uh, this uh, club that you have to join if you want to move in one of these flats. And yeah, we asked if I could move in, and they were so rude, and oh, they said no. And if we if we hadn't been as honest and just said, yeah, we are a couple, so we want to move together, they would have said yes. But we were honest and said we're just friends. We wanted to move together. They were like, no, we don't do that. Hope that thought. Daisy Dodgerich, 1467 to 1555, first landlady of the Lakey Cauldron. Oh, that's lovely. Number 99. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, they were very rude, and uh, we explained that it's just for three months, and I need an address to keep when I go to England because I can't just tell my host family, like, hey, I'm moving in. I'm getting your address. And. I can't really move in with my family for various reasons, so uh, yeah, it was a good idea to move to my friend, and they were like, no, and we explained the whole situation, like, she sleeps in her kitchen anyway, this is the door to the scourge channel. Nah, I don't want to do that, and yeah, it would have been perfectly fine, the flat is big enough for two people, and for three months, and yeah, I just need an address, basically, but they were still like, no, and they said, Let, yeah, we don't do it uh, with fr friends, so, uh, yeah, there's a word for it, I don't know it. And I was like, do you have that on paper uh, so we could read it? Because, you know, that reason was so ridiculous. And they were like, no, and uh, we don't have any... Put the word in here. Towards you anyway. I was like, what the frick? You're so mean. So yeah, I I left without saying goodbye or anything because I was insulted and that was so mean. And I might move in anyway because you're allowed to move somewhere without like making it official for up to six months. So <laughs> jokes on them, I will move in there anyway and so yeah. The problem is just that I need an address where I can live in Germany but um, he might solve that too. So yeah, that's been going on in my life. I'm still procrastinating my bachelor thesis because that's the only thing I got left to do, basically. But I don't know, it's just the the imagination of writing 30 pages. It's so obnoxious. And I, I hate it, I hate it. I hate term papers. I hate other forms of... I like creative shri uh, shriving. <laughs> I like creative writing. I'm not good at it, but sometimes I like sending notes to my other, to my best friend basically, who writes a very lovely fan fiction. And I got some ideas every now and then, so I send them to her, and that that's fun. I like that. But these these uh, I don't know scientific writing. Oh, I just hate it. It's so much like. You have to obey so many stupid rules and you are basically just copying things other people say and put them in a summary and I don't know, I just, I hate it. I get so mad. So I've been putting that off for a very long time, but next week, please remind me, I will start research. Um, my topic as I want to write, if I find a teacher who's like, yeah, that's fine, is about... Yeah. Shut up! Is about the importance of puppetry. I don't know if you can get a lot of scientific facts about that, but that would be what I'd love to write about. Yes. And... Ooh, that, ooh, that was weird. All right. We have the best values in Hogwarts. I don't can hey, afford. What do I don't can. <laughs> I, I have Quidditch armor. No, just like I don't the want it. Cannons wear. No, no. Um, I can't the afford the Nimbus. Right, yet, even right. in cases like this. It was seven fifty. What do you have? I have a Nimbus two thousand and one, the best model available to the general public. Oh, seven. So we are close. Maybe we could get it this episode. That would be at least something. Oh, and we could do a Quidditch match. Yes. At least something we can do. So we make some progress, you know. <laughs> this is episode number five. You know, Hagrid's heart. 
And I don't feel like we have made so much progress yet, but that's fine. So let's just check the dungeons and then this we should leads be good. To the dungeons. <laughs> I know, Harry, but thank you for reminding me. No, we can't do that. Did I do that last time? I can't remember. No, I don't think I did. Because there's a secret over here. Lumos! Yes! 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 Very nice indeed! <sighs> My bean senses are tingling! Mm. Mm. Ooh, I got a key! Very lovely! Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I like standing like that. Who was that though? Mm. Gaspar Shingleton, 1959 to present, celebrated inventor of the self steering cauldron. Fanta! <laughs> Whee! Mm. Remember how they say. Well, that helped a lot. One bean a day keeps the gnomes away. <laughs> there is nothing here. Well, we got a silver card, but there is nothing here. Do you have any beans? No. I need more sustenance. Harry. <laughs> oh, he loves his walls. He loves his walls. Haha, -ha, what's behind door number? This one! <gasps> A speaker! What did that do again? Ah, uh, ooh, ooh! Ah, but we can't do that yet. How unfortunate! Uh oh! How unfortunate! I'm gonna do an awful thing! Throw it out the tin! It's a word here in the ring! My English is very bad today. <gasps> Howdy? Do you want to talk to me? <laughs> In the dungeons again. I would be Hi. surprised if you became hopelessly lost. Well, you are here to save me, no? <laughs> Hi, would you consider a tray? No, thank you. Did I'm in the potions that? classroom. Yes, I know. Know. Ah, we can do this now. Yes. Scourge! I already forgot that word. Yes! Can you can you sniff that? Can you smell that? I smell beans! <laughs> yes! This bean tastes like bean. I like that in a bean. Ooh, Ooh so many cards today. C come on. Who art thou? Laverne de Laverne de Montmorency? I don't know how to say that. 1823 to 1893. Inventor of many love potions. Ooh. So, is the green form a true form? A bit green, if you ask me. But yeah. Anything else in here? Uh, no. I don't think so. Alrighty, let's head to the beans room. <laughs> I don't care about its real name, it's the beans room. Hi! Hi. Would you consider a tray? Oh, thank you all. Don't be poking around where you don't belong. <laughs> well, I should watch where I run because it's hard enough to control Harry with both eyes opened. So yeah, let's go. If he would run, if he ran, if and what is another good, a little bit faster. So, let's 
go get us some beans. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Yes! Oh I think this will leads... Ah, oh, never mind. We can't do that yet. Hello again. Look Come to me, my children! House point ceremony. Really? Yes, Let's see okay. Which house is ahead this week? Also, oh, I'm old enough to drink butter beer. Is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Yes! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, and now we can do more because we can open the doors. Run! Sorry, I should stop. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, yes, 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 yes! This is perfect! I really shouldn't have put off a recording for so long because, you know, should I get the chests? I don't know. Maybe I should. That's mm. fine. Ah! Alright, come here. Ah, uh, I'll leave this one there for now. Ah, I missed one! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, my child! You will be remembered! Oh. <laughs> I was like, I hope this is the right button to press. Where am I? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, well, this is some precious time lost. <laughs> Never mind. We can go this way now. Ah, look at this! We can afford the Nimbus! Awesome! Harry, run straight forward, please! Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have come here, but it's fine. Come on! Oh, he's so drunk. Maybe he had too much butter beer? Ew. What is butter beer anyway? Because it's not really an alcoholic drink, is it? I had it in the Harry Potter studios and it was very delicious. Uh, my friend didn't like it, <laughs> so I got to drink hers too. <laughs> that was very nice. Um, let's go down here and get all of these. Yes. Wow, we got a lot of beans. Chocolate! I love chocolate. I don't have any left. <laughs> I'm so sad now. Uh oh. My lost child! I came back for you! <laughs> Where do I go? There's ah, oh, let's go. Let's get this chest. Yes, yes. Come on. Ah, I'm so tense. I want as many beans as possible. Oh. Can I get this one? Please, please, please. Yes. Well, that was very successful. <laughs> Harry, oh no. I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. <laughs> Actually, Hermione. No, no cutscene! There's a chamber of secrets. I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I'm a I believer. Think whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here and Filch isn't. Remember it's all true. the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? Where did it go? No. Where did it come from? Let's That's have a look. Time. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, boo hoo, Ronald. There won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. Mm. Also, she haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Aww. Who can the heir of Slytherin be, though? Who'd want to frighten all the non magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Romani a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realizing it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible! <laughs> All we need is some Polyjuice potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realize it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered bicorn horn and shredded boomslang skin. I Harry, think we I steal one from some. Snape. Any oh. idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. Yes. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. 
Lovely. Molting boom slangs and corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable. <laughs> oh, Harry. Well, why am I back here? Wait, what? Why am I? Oh. So, yeah, I think... Should we go and buy the Nimbus? Can we even do that? Let's try. What I wanted to say was I'm running in the wrong direction. First of all, I had started me here, so... Uh, yes, yes, the game is big brain. I'm not. Okay. So, did you know that the actress for the Moaning Myrtle was already, I don't know, 20, something like that? And the other thing is, I don't get why toilets are gender separated. Like, do one big room with a lot of seated oh, toilets, you. toilets and cabins. So, you know, everyone who wants to sit can go there and do their business. And then one tiny room for the people who can do their business standing up. Like... Have you ever been to any event and you notice how there is the longest queue in front of the female bathroom and no business at all at the male toilet? So just do one room with, you know, as many possible as... Uh, you see, I'm... I'm calm. As many cabins as possible, and then one tiny room with just the people can sit. Hey, because, Harry, you know, want to trade? that would we have the best values yes, in Hogwarts. Yes. That would help hey, so Harry, much. Want to trade? What do you have? And I have a Nimbus two thousand. You know, you're in a closed best environment, so it doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. Anyways, and I don't care if a man had his butt on the toilet seat before me because I put toilet paper on it anyway, because of. Yeah, fungi and infections. So, yes, let's buy this. And stop talking about toilets. At least for now. <laughs> you are a most discerning shopper, Harry. Yes! Sorry, Thank I'm you. Afraid. I'm out of stock right now. That's Come fine. Later. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> just imagine someone else would have picked it up. So, I don't have enough beans. I can't read that. I think it says 160, right? Um, I haven't got enough beans for the armor. But we could go and try... A Quidditch match. Yeah, let's play against Hufflepuff. Can I train before? Because I don't know how to play this anymore. I really don't. Come on! Get through. Ah, uh, well. Let's just do it. It's a great day for a Quidditch match. Let's just look up the button. <laughs> um. Joy 3. Well, that helps. Joy 3. Maybe it's X, I don't know. We'll see! There's nothing like the age old Quidditch rivals you find here at Hogwarts. Rain or shine, day or night. Poor clumps on the pitch or ghouls in the stands. Oh, I love the games of my the age. They are the best. Quidditch match. The pitch so is ready, this. the quaffles are polished. The bludgers are humming, let's play Quidditch! Yes! The snitch has made its appearance! Oh my god, how do I do anything? <laughs> Boing! How do I push her? Wait, wait, hold on a minute. I have to look up. Oh, it's the same button. It's okay, okay. So it should be that one, right? Let, let's try. Yes, okay, it's X. X gone, give it to you. Gone, give it to Oh, that's so mean. Come on. This is the worst. And this plus, plus, piss off. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, I punched the dude. <laughs> I didn't punch you. I just hit you. <laughs> Quote of the year. If you get it. Okay, and my heart. Go away! This it's mine! <sighs> Here comes the Hufflepuff seeker! Here so comes mean. I did it! I was concentrating there for a moment. <laughs> Yay! We got the snitch! Saying, good night, good luck, and good quitting. Yes! Lovely, very nice commentary. Yes! We did it! Let's see. 
Well, the other team was very much sucking. If we got 160 points only because I caught the snitch, which gives 150? I don't know. Why? Let's do one more and then call it a day, shall we? Now that I remember the buttons. <laughs> You just said pitch, that before. In the stands, nothing keeps the crowds away from a Quidditch match. The pitch is ready. The quaffles are pulled. The bludges are humming. Let's play Quidditch. Yay! So, team, snitch, be better snitch, this time. How does that happen? I'm just spamming the X button, that's so rude. <laughs> I think I'm not playing by the rules. But it's fine. Now, she will go away. <laughs> so mean. Ooh. They got 70 points and we got zero. What's the 80? What's happening? Can my team please just get a hundred? Can you please score? Oh my gosh! They were terrible! At least they got me, so I'm here to save the day. Signing <laughs> off. Hey, is he quoting my chemical romance? <laughs> because that's nothing normal people would say. <laughs> that's very <laughs> never mind. So yeah. All right, okay, we are in the lead. We won both matches. And then we should find the book to save. To save hey, our Harry, game. want to trade? We oh. have the best values in Hogwarts. No, oh, no, I can't afford it, brothers. I can't afford it. So where's the closest book to the dungeon? Um, well, Let's go check the common room. Have I been there? I don't think so. Because normally we can get a bean there. Every time I go there, it's a bean. It's so lovely. It's like coming home. <laughs> uh, I'm Here's sorry. the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. I know, Take Harry. Care, know, Harry. <laughs> I'm arriving, you know. I'm not leaving. But thank you. You take care too of yourselves and each other. <laughs> She's doing my outfit without me! No! Oh. Mm, a black bean, just like my soul. So. <clears throat> How did my outro go again? <laughs> I think it was. Thanks a bunch for watching? No. Wait. Thanks a bunch for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed today's little adventure. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in the future. <laughs> so long and good night! Quoth the raven. Nevermore!